so our uh, next uh, task is to you know to get started with sap hana cloud free tier okay so for this what we are going to do first we need to log into our sap btp uh, cockpit uh, with our user id credentials and then go to this instance and uh, subscriptions okay if you go to here then here under this one or else directly you can go to the entitlement first before starting something here uh, first we need to go to entitlements and check whether they we have the service available in our entitlements or not so what is available like sap hana uh, you can search from the search bar or you can scroll down here uh, to identify this if you see here here we have sap hana cloud and sap hana schemas and hda container these two services must be available in our entitlements under sap hana cloud you can see uh, hana cloud trial hana cloud tools trial and hana one okay for example if these are not available in your entitlements then what you can do uh, you can add them by going to edit option here and add service plans from here you can search for sap hana hana cloud you see whichever we see now your those can be uh, uh, seen under this one you need to add service from here okay so then that is since we already have this one then i am not going to that part now okay mostly when you create this sap btp trial account these will be added automatically hmm? this is our first step so after this then uh, what we are going to do the next thing what we are going to do is Uh, in our instance and subscriptions in the instances and subscriptions under the subs subscriptions we have currently only sap business application studio here we need to add one more okay so for that go to the service marketplace and then search for sap hana cloud okay here you have sap hana cloud right then click on this one and then click on create so it is uh, it is asking for the plan here it comes under tools subscription tools okay then click on create now creation in progress so it is now creating So now if we click on this view subscriptions now under the applications earlier we have only sap business application studio but now we can see the sap hana cloud also okay so that is one thing now what is next so you have added this sap hana cloud to your applications then uh, we need to set some uh, roles here so now go to the security go to users here we can see our user id and go to this uh, our user id and uh, you know minimize the left one and expand this one here we need to add roles here currently i am the sub account administrator okay uh, the roles which are related to this sap hana cloud those need to be added here so we are going to assign those roles now now click on this assign role collection and then search for sap hana cloud so here I have three roles, SAP HANA Cloud Administrator, so admi uh, Cloud Security Administrator. So I'm adding this uh, SAP HANA Cloud Administrator role into my account. Okay, I'm done here. So once we are done, close this one. And again, come to the instance and subscriptions. Okay, now click on this SAP HANA Cloud. So it's asking legal agreement, accept. Okay, sometimes you will get the, like this. Uh, yeah, refresh the screen. Or else close this one. And then again, click on this, uh, you know, uh, button, go to the application. Now it is trying to open the SAP HANA Cloud Central.
Now we are going to create an instance in our HANA central cloud. So before creating, we start creating an instance in this HANA central cloud. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, just understand about little few things. What is SAP HANA cloud? As uh, here, I written everything in text here. So these are all almost self-explanatory. So I'm reading out what is there here. SAP HANA Cloud is a database as a service, okay? So it is not on our local system, it will be on the cloud and it is from the um, infrastructure side. So as a service for real-time analytics and smart applications. SAP HANA Cloud provides a single place to access, store and process all enterprise data. So whenever if I create an application and do some processing, the whatever data I am consuming in the application or whatever data I am writing back, all these will be you know stored under this, uh, this HANA Cloud instance only, okay? Uh, whichever we pointed. SAP HANA Cloud provides all the advantage, advanced SAP HANA technologies for multi-modeling data processing in memory. As you know, um, SAP HANA data HANA itself is a fast uh, you know uh, database which provides multi-model data processing in memory on disk okay the it's related to the performance point of view sap hana cloud allows you to consume the hana database from applications running on btp as well as applications running on on premise or cloud services using the sap standard hana clients means sap hana cloud allows you consume the hana database from applications running on btp so as you see here uh, in our hana you know uh, btp we are creating multiple applications okay sap btp application and other applications so all these will be uh, can consume the data from this sap hana cloud okay and then what is a cloud central because currently the screen what we are seeing is a sap hana uh, cloud central hana cloud central so what is this cloud central is SAP HANA Cloud Center enables you to administrate and monitor your SAP Cloud instances. It means you may have more than one cloud instance. Okay, so all those instances can be uh, you know administrated from this uh, Cloud Central. And SAP Cloud Central is shared by other SAP BT pro BTP products uh, that can exchange data with SAP Cloud. And one more thing point here is uh, whatever uh, SAP Cloud instances we are creating here, this comes under free trial. Free trial okay so when coming to this uh, free trial there are limitations here so what are those limitations it means uh, these uh, free trials will be you know one second so what happen is uh, these free trial models uh, these instances will be stopped on nightly basis okay so whenever you uh, starting your application on each day you need to restart your application i will show you how we can do the restart and if you did not restart your instance for 30 days, then from this uh, trial version, in the trial version, if you do not uh, restart your instance within 30 days period, then it will be deleted. Okay, that need, needs to be, um, you know, uh, keep it in mind. So now let's uh, try to create one instance here and see how it is. So how we came into the screen, we went to this, uh, you know, BTP cockpit under our sub account, under the subscriptions, we clicked on this, you know, as go to application under the SAP HANA Cloud. Then we came to this HANA Cloud Central. Here we are clicking on the create instance button. So here when I'm creating uh, instance, it is asking uh, which type SAP HANA Cloud with HANA database or HANA Cloud with data lake. At this point of time, initially I'm selecting the HANA database. Okay, it was um, by default selected. The cloud fund event is enabled for the sub account to create instance. Okay, okay, go to the next step. So here you need to provide your instance name. Okay, so to make it better, what I'm doing is uh, in uh, SAP also provided uh, some tutorials and blogs on how to create these instances. So whatever names they mentioned in that uh, you know particular uh, SAP one, I'm trying to give the same thing so that uh, when you refer to those blogs, it will be easy for the um, understanding point of view. So here I'm giving the one as HC underscore HDB. So which refers a HANA cloud and the HANA database. Okay, and the description, it is not mandated to provide the description here. It is validating the instance name is okay or not for this one. Okay, and then what the important point is uh, under this particular instance name, one administrator user ID is creating. Nothing but I am creating one HANA database here. Okay, in the database, we need one administrator to uh, handle everything. So the administrator user ID is nothing but a DB admin. Okay, you need to provide password to access for that uh, admin account. Okay, so I'm providing my password here. 
and you need to keep uh, you know I make it simple so you need to re remember this password for a later use okay then what next and if you see the configuration here the memory is 16 GB one one word CPU and storage is 80 GB so for the free tire so SAP is providing this is the configuration okay and then click on the next step so um, I don't need to use this uh, no, remember this one so next one so the what is next is here you can see the um, SAP HANA database memory performance class computer mem and all this information just you can go through it and click on the next step so what is our next step our next step is SAP HANA database availability zone okay so what we are going to do here SAP HANA availability zone no? deploying replicas not available uh, as you see it is not available in trial, in trial instances so simply what we can do click on the next step okay and the next step here is uh, the uh, database advanced settings mm, under this one so what we are going to do SAP HANA database advanced settings data provisioning server enable the data provisioning server when using the HANA smart data integration with this enterprise if you want you can enable this checkbox a data provisioning server and uh, connections you can choose only LO2 instances so whenever you want to connect your instances to this BTP so what are IP addresses from where you are working LO only IP addresses from cloud foundry in this BTP or LO all IP addresses okay or you can try it what happen is whenever you creating some in uh, some applications and from applications if you want to connect to this uh, BTP and then you know uh, connect your HANA database then whichever IP addresses can access your HANA database either you can select uh, you know you can uh, maintain them and allow them here or allow all IP address because uh, it is a trial account and uh, to learn better just uh, make it allow all IP addresses here okay and the next one is the uh, simply click on the next step data lake so as of now I am not creating any data lake here uh, if needed a later point if to it if we need we can uh, create data lake also uh, create data lake so if we given here we need to provide uh, you know one instance name uh, if we want to create for data lake so yeah we can create one simply hc underscore dl okay uh, provide and means HANA cloud under data lake and then click on next step still it is validating once it is validation is completed go to the next step and here it is showing the you know system information and then go to next step here also I am allowing all IP addresses and then review and create so now what will happen now system is going to create now it is a review step where I can see my uh, instance name under the database admin password and everything I can see here information now the final step is click on the create instance button now what is happening now a new instance is going to be created under this one which is nothing but our HANA database So you see one instance was created here for the HANA database and another instance was created for the HANA database with a data lake, HANA data lake, okay, HANA cloud with data lake. So memory 16 GB, storage 80 GB, here for the data lake we have 256 GB of storage, okay. Now, so currently uh, it's creating, currently it is in creating stage, so it will take some time for the creation here we have three buttons right these three buttons we use for different operations once these are created then we can look into these options just to do the refresh here so that these will be updated let's wait a few seconds so after a few minutes now we can see this uh, hcd HDP, which is hana database is a running status but still this data lake is in in progress status okay so now what i did to uh, in order to refresh this uh, multiple times i uh, what i did i went here and then configured the auto refresh for every 20 seconds okay and the next refresh start again in uh, you know, one second now so you see the refresh again started so that what happens uh, whenever this uh, data lake was created I get notified uh, by with this uh, you know running and tick mark here 
So coming to the next point, uh, currently this database instance is running, right? Now if I go to this three dots here, I can see multiple options. What are these? Here I can stop my instance, means whatever instance currently running, I can stop from here, I can delete it from here, okay? And I can, uh, you know, open uh, in HANA Database Explorer. If I want to see what a component, you know, what objects are there in this HANA Database, everything I can administrate from this um, SAP HANA Database Explorer. Okay, and what is this? Open in SAP HANA cockpit, just click on it and then we can get to know what is this exactly. So now this SAP HANA cockpit, since you are opening it first time, it is asking for the user ID and password. So DB admin, whichever, which is the admin user ID for this one and the password, whichever I given here. So now I am in this uh, HC in the in the instance, okay, on the HANA database instance. Here I can see the different services, alerts, memory usage, CPU usage, everything I can monitor from this uh, cockpit, okay. So total size and how much memory I consumed so far, what are the SQL statements here and everything I can monitor uh, from this particular HANA cockpit, okay. So and we have one more option called what is it open in HANA database explorer so if I click here then now HANA database explorer it is opening sometimes open what happening is from the Chrome this particular link is not opening it is it will take some time but you know even after few minutes also it is not opening at the time what I am doing is simply I will copy paste this link and or try to open from the edge that time it is working perfectly you know if this is not at all you know uh, opening from here even after multiple refreshes and uh, even after waiting for two to three minutes also if it is not opening then the best option is to open it from the edge okay you see what happening here also the same thing happening to me uh, this uh, database explorer is uh, not opening so better I will try to uh, go to the edge window now So I opened my edge here and then I'm copying this particular link and then uh, pasting in my Microsoft Edge. Here it is asking me to log in. So here I'm giving my credentials, my trial account credentials. Okay, so uh, it will open from the Chrome also. Sometimes it is not opening from the Chrome. So at that time, and this is the you know uh, alternative approach which I you know chosen to open it. You see now from the edge it was opened very quickly. So now I am in the HANA database explorer. Okay, and this is our HANA database. Under the catalog I can see you know different things here. Under the tables I can if I have any tables you know in my database I can see from here views and everything uh, we can see from here. Okay, we can talk about this uh, in coming time in detail. Okay, so what is HANA Cloud Central? Uh, as I said, like HANA Cloud Central, where we can administrate multiple instances of HANA Cloud at single place. Okay, and what is this HANA Database Explorer? HANA Database Explorer enables you to make changes to the data and database objects in your databases. Okay.